Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today is day 37 and F Sweden is basically the only thing that I can tell you. <laughs> no, we will talk about this in a second, but before that, today I'm here at the street again. It's one day later, it has snowed probably like ankle high again so the street is yeah filled with a lot of snow again and there's a truck coming behind me but also um, I have found um, yeah like a short way through the forest through the woods I think it will end on the on the yeah famous forest path that I've been through in the last yeah weeks I feel definitely better today but we will talk about this when I go through here and show you maybe some beautiful, yeah, scenery. Okay, so F Sweden. Well, this morning I received a call from, from a person, I don't know where she's from, but, um, or like where she's from in Sweden, <laughs> but uh, it was a different conversation. Like it was based on a job, um, description so it was for Okta Okta farm or Okta Pharma and I have done tests for those people like last Sunday so yeah they were calling me and I was like okay so I'm looking it looks promising you know they called me however <laughs> I don't know how to describe this conversation because like if you would use um, the the standard society and all like the behavior behavior that people normally would have I would say that this would not was not a professional conversation it was very direct it was even more direct than I would prefer <laughs> because so we were calling or like yeah, we were talking and she asked me like, okay, like how good is your Swedish? So I started in, uh, in Swedish to tell her like, yeah, my Swedish is not so good, but I am of course like practicing and that I, yeah, I still have problems with the listening comprehension. And then she said like, yeah, okay, <laughs> I can hear that. It's really not fluent Swedish, it's bad or something like that. So she was very direct, like I did not bother because I was like, okay, yeah, it's one of many jobs for me, but it was just crazy. And then she said like, yeah, but you are, all the other requirements that you have, they look very good. And it's so hard for us as recruiters too, to find the perfect candidate. So of course I can understand this. And I was like talking to her. So I did not feel uncomfortable, but it was a bit like, whoa, you are very like, um, like you would talk to a friend, you know, like very, very easy going. And so in the end, yeah, she said like, ah, I don't know. I don't think we can give you any jobs here because fluent Swedish is really required. However, we have other locations, maybe in Germany or in Austria, and there you can speak German. So yeah, why don't you try it there and just F Sweden? That's like, of course she said the word. But um, yeah, <laughs> she just said it and I was like, whoa, okay. Well, I did not tell her that I moved here. So I don't know, maybe she was thinking like I, um, I was actually like living here, born here or whatever. <laughs> but she just, she just dropped this and said like, ah, don't bother learning Swedish, just go somewhere else. And I was like, whoa, okay, okay, yeah, maybe I will think about this and <laughs> okay so we are at the forest path as i figured but um yeah we will just go to the football field okay so i was like okay that's that's very direct but she's like still like helping me but in an interesting way and she also said in the end when we like started i uh, stopped the conversation she said when you when you manage to talk Swedish in the next year like give me a call and I will do everything I can do to give you a job so <laughs> it was really weird but 
it was yeah it was an interesting experience definitely <laughs> because yeah it was just not professional like how people would describe professionality but in my opinion i don't know like i'm very open to everything so <laughs> be be who you are so yeah <laughs> and besides this i have to talk to you about something else co um, including this conversation i had this morning because i have realized something where i don't really know what what i should do if i should do anything because i have now completed 220 applications i have 71 rejections so 33 percent and however um i have like yeah like i had another conversation yesterday on the phone like after i've done the video somebody was calling me in the evening checking on me checking on my swedish and it was a job for a geotechnician and she said like yeah okay but maybe we can place you in the geo lab so in the laboratory geological things and i was like oh yeah that would be awesome of course she cannot just promise every anything to me because she has to check with other people there in the company too but she she was like the opposite of the person today she was very professional but super polite and also like she said like oh yeah i see you ambitious learning swedish and we also have a person who is not fluently in swedish yet but there might be a chance and it was in stockholm so yeah so <laughs> I'm like, how do you call it? Like every time I have, I'm going through such a conversation, even if it's a bad one or a good one, it feels very relieving for me because I have achieved something because I hate talking on the telephone with people I don't know. And now the point that, that I have realized is um, there's a company in Sundsvall um, where I have applied for two jobs and also like two other jobs in another town in Sweden and they have sent me a rejection for a job somewhere else and I have checked on their website because there's there are two jobs uh, or like there's like basically the same position at two different locations and I have checked to see like what can I um, reject or like where I can ah oh, sorry on which job I can put the rejection label in my excel sheet and then i was on their website and i saw that for the two jobs which is a laboratory engineer and the research engineer in sunswal i am in the i am in the um, close selection so i'm not just like okay they're still checking everybody i have already been selected for like a more in-depth view maybe i will get a con like a call or whatever and then I realized, like based on this realization, I am not sure what will happen in the next weeks. Because it, for me, it just feels like <laughs> I have sent so many applications, like, how do you describe it? Like, <laughs> I told like one of my friends, sorry, um, that it feels like that you have implemented a lot of mini earthquakes around the oceans of the world and there will be like tsunamis coming from everywhere and they will all collide on me because everybody will give me like a call and <laughs> i don't know like how to how to handle this because um it's it's so confusing for me because i don't really know if i should keep going like this with applications or if I should start like enjoying life now in Sweden because you you know I have not achieved anything for my 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 own health basically in Sweden like discovering or going on cool places of course we have been to some places together um, but like those hills I showed you like the ones on the um, yeah where the bay is going through or the river I want to go on those hills and all those things and i'm thinking about this like you don't know if i'm staying or i don't know if my job will be in sonsval or somewhere else so maybe i should take the time now especially on the weekend to enjoy some yeah areas of the city that i have not been to before it might be not too late but 
yeah before i don't have time to be here anymore for this long so yeah that was something that i have realized a few hours ago and yeah so i don't know maybe you have um, some thoughts about that but for me it was like okay i'm going to be the yeah like a customer like a customer support and dealing with phone calls every day now because yesterday one today one on wednesday one monday one yeah i don't think on tuesday i did oh wait yeah i got one on tuesday too yeah so every day in this week i've got a phone call already which is a good thing like i don't want to say it's bad and it should stop but like it, it makes it a bit hard for me to um to rethink basically what what i should focus on so if you have yeah if you have any ideas if you tell me or if you would like say focus on the thing on next wednesday or if i should just like stay gener like generic have a broad overview for everything yeah i don't know my plan are, my plans of course are to listen to every job interview that i can take no matter if i have like one contract already in hand basically i want to get as many contracts and have like an overview and then i can decide based on the location based on the job based on my yeah future um, possibilities in my career and of course also the salary plays an important factors because you know the tesla is expensive so yeah all those things will play a major role in my next weeks and it feels like that christmas is not christmas this year it's more like i don't know managing which job i might take in the future yeah okay so besides this i would say this is all for today i know today is sunday for you so it would have been a shopping sunday or a story sunday but i don't know like of course i can give you some information now we have 12 and 12 and a half minutes already talked so i think i will give you a story monday tomorrow uh, yeah tomorrow and we will do the shopping when i'm at 100 percent with my health because i'm still not at 100 percent i'm like at 95 but yeah and it's already dark and i don't want to be yeah talking to you in my room today because we have been there the last four days together so yeah and with this beautiful truck we will now say goodbye have a wonderful day and see you tomorrow